Hello everyone, how are you today? Welcome back to, um, to Maths Online with me, Mrs. Cooper, your online teacher. Right, so today we're gonna to start as always by learning what we need to help us. So today's lesson, you are going to need to help you a piece of paper or a whiteboard or something you can write on and a pencil or a pen. As always, make sure you ask an adult in case it's something you're not allowed to take. But also, if you don't have any of that, it doesn't matter because we can learn together and do lots of talking together. So our first task to warm up our brains, I'm gonna move myself across the screen so that, so that we can see the task. So we're giving you a sneak preview of what we're going to be doing, all jumbled up. Okay, I've got some buttons on my board. And they're all jumbled up. So the first thing I want you to do is have a look. There are three different colours. I want you to tell me how many blue buttons are there. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. How many blue buttons are there? Go. Covering it up. Have another look. How many orange buttons are there? Are you ready? Oh, what colour. <laughs> how many orange buttons are there? Ready, steady, go. Okay, last one. How many yellow buttons are there? Go. So you counted. Now tell me, which color was there the most of? Okay, lots of you saying blue. Are you right, I wonder. And which color were there the least amount of buttons? Oh, some of you saying orange, some of you saying yellow. Should we have a look? Let's have a look. So let's count how many blue buttons there are first of all. One, two, three, four, five, six blue. So I'm going to write six blue buttons. There were six blue buttons. How many orange buttons were there? One, two, three, count with me, four and five. Brilliant, there were five orange buttons, okay? And then how many yellow buttons were there? One, two, three. Okay. So there were three yellow buttons. And then I said to you, which colour were there the most amount of? And you said blue. And why did you say blue? Excellent answers. Well done. Yes, that's right. We know that there were blue was the biggest colour because that was the most biggest number. So there were six blue. Six is the biggest number. Therefore, we know that blue was the biggest um, amount of buttons there, blue buttons. Okay. I then said, how did you know that yellow? Oh, we had to work it out, didn't we? We were a bit confused between yellow and orange. But we said that the yellow buttons were the fewest. And that's correct because three was the smallest number on there. How many buttons were there all together? Shall we count? I'm going to use my red this time so we don't get confused. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There were fourteen buttons all together. That's correct. Excellent job, guys. Great counting, getting our brains thinking, ready for our lesson today. So today we're going to be doing a bit of counting, but more as well as this, we're going to be doing some ordering. Okay, we're going to be ordering objects. So I'm going to look back at these buttons, okay? What could I have done to make it a little bit easier to count them? Have a think. What could I have done to order my buttons? Here's my list. Okay, lots of you saying, yeah, the same thing, actually. And said, I could have separated them. So you're saying that I could have taken my yellows and put them there to one side in a group. And I could have taken my oranges and put them in the middle and then kept my blues there. And that would have made it a little bit easier to order them and to see them. And sometimes that what we, that's what we do when we order and we count. It's nice to put things into groups that are the same so that we can make some comparisons. And then we could have said, one, two, three, four, five, six, blue. We could have said one, two, three, four, five, orange, and three, yellow. And if I needed to, I could say to you, so what's the smallest number? How would I order them from smallest to largest? 
So the smallest number on there is the number three. So on the first line down here, I'd put the number three. Hmm, the next biggest number is the number five or six. Which one is smaller? Ah, the number five. And then finally, the number six. So I've ordered them in their size, three, five, and six. Three is the smallest, five is the biggest. Fantastic, excellent. So sometimes it's easy to do that that way. So let's have a look here. It says order the crayons from smallest to greatest. So each pack of crayons has how many in them? Excellent, yes, 10. But the crayons on the outside are extra, so let's count. 10, 11, 12, 13. One and a three. If you want to write them down in your sheet, you can. I've written mine down. Let's have a look at the next one. 10 in the box, so let's count on from 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Remember this one here? So, oh, I'll put the number 14 there. This one here, it's 10 in a box. How many more? 10, one more than 10 is 11. Fantastic, great use of that vocabulary again, recapping our learning from before. So, it says, order these from smallest to greatest. So, what's the smallest number I've got? Is it 13, 14, or 11? The smallest. The least amount I've got. Great job, guys. Yes, 11 is the smallest value. So what I do is I put it there on my one. You can do that on your mind. Okay, then I'm going to cross through the 11 because I know I've done that. So the next number, not the biggest number, the number that's next biggest number that's after the um, 11. Hmm, and he gave it away then. Whoops. Yes, 13. Bigger than 11, but not the biggest number. So I'm just going to put the 13 there, which tells us that the biggest number is 14. So my ordering from smallest to greatest. Just like that. 11, 13, and 14. We order them from the smallest to the greatest. Sometimes we can order from the greatest to the smallest. But we did that there. Okay, right. Now we've got another instruction. Now, it says here use cubes, and I'm sorry because I think I forgot to tell you that we might need some countable cubes, but that's okay. You can pause me and you can get some pasta if you want, if you've got some cubes or counters, okay? So I'm going to get all my cubes out in front of me, and it says use cubes to make these numbers and order from greatest to smallest. So the first number I've got is 19, so I'm going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Wow, this is a long one. Eighteen, nineteen. That's a really long one, okay? Oh, I'll show it to you so it So I've got nineteen cubes. You can see that. Now I'm going to do three cubes. One, two, three, I'm gonna put them next to them, okay, so I can see already I know that three is smaller than my 19 just by looking at it. And then I need 14. Okay, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, one more makes 40, Ooh, even if it did fall off. Okay, so I have 19, I have, I have 19, I have three, and I have 14. Okay, so just by looking at that, I don't think my, my 19 can just get a little bit better in there. Right, you can see that I've got 19, three and 14. Just by looking at that, I know they're not in the right order because it says put them from greatest to smallest. Well, I can tell that the greatest has to be there. Which one, the longest or the shortest, do you think? Excellent, the longest. So I'm gonna move that closer to me there, okay? I would put it that way, it would fall off. Then the next, hmm, what's bigger? 
Three or 14? Three or 14. Yeah, you knew that one. 14's bigger. And just by looking at that, we can see it's longer. When we have it as a, ob looking at objects, we know it's a bigger amount. <coughs> and then our three. So 19, 14, and three. That's how we would order them. And if I was to write my numbers here, I'd say 19, 14, and then finally three is the baby. There you go, smallest. Don't think I can put them standing up because they'll all fall over. Fantastic, good. So sometimes it's good to look at objects in a different way so you can see them visually. So you can look at them and see rather than just looking at the number. Fantastic job. Shall we have a look at another question we've got? Ooh, we've got a bit of an investigation here. So we've got three bits. I'm going to use my whiteboard to help me here. You can use a piece of paper. If you've got some cubes, great. If you've got something, if you don't have anything, don't worry. So it says here, draw counters in each box to make it correct. So my first box is the smallest, so I need a small amount in there. Small. Then the last one is, oh, greatest. Okay, it doesn't matter. So, what do you think I need to do first of all to even start? Fantastic, yeah, great job, well done, whoever said that. Let's count the middle ones, let's have a look. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I need ten cubes. Three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do it, put them together like that. So there are my ten cubes. So, hmm. To make my smallest box, I have to have a number of counters that are smaller. So, who give me a number of cubes that could go in there? 11? Why not 11? Well done. Why not 11? Brilliant, because there are 10 cubes and 11 is bigger and we want to go smaller. We need to go less than 10. That less vocabulary. Mm, what number can we have? Someone said nine. Would nine cubes work? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, look. Smaller. Excellent. Okay. So now I need a number that's bigger than 10. Hmm. Number that's bigger than 10. Give me a number that's bigger than 10. Oh, lots of you shouting out really big numbers. I'm going to go for one that I can actually make with my cubes. Okay, 12, 12. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Excellent. So hopefully you can see it all So it's going to be that way around. Smallest. So I've got here. Undo upside down. Hmm. Nine, ten, and twelve. Smallest to greatest. Excellent. Is that the only way we can do it? No, we can have other numbers in there. So, hmm, who can give me another number that's smaller than 10? So it's not nine, because we've done nine. Great, somebody said seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is smaller than 10, so that would work in that box. Oh, I need a number that's greater than 10. Some of you are saying really big numbers still in the hundreds, and you're right, but I just don't have that many cubes. Somebody said, somebody said 15. Would that work? That out. So this time, you're telling me that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is smaller than 10, correct? And that five, 10, 15. Bigger than 10. Absolutely. Smallest to biggest. 7, 10, 15. Brilliant. If you want to pause me now, you can have a look and see if you can investigate some options and tell me. There's quite a few you can do. Have a go. See if you can find at least three different ones, three different possibilities of making that correct. I love investigating maths and the great thing about having cubes and things like even pasta and objects can help you to see the amounts. 
have a look at something else, shall we? We've got some problems here. So we've got some groups of children. It says here, how many children are there in each group? So we've got to complete the sentences. How many are there in A? So I find A, let's count. One, two, there are two children in group A. How many are in B? One, two, three, four, five. There are five children in B. And how many children are there in C? One, two, three. Okay. Are they in order? No. So what's the smallest group? Oh, some of you are saying two is the smallest group. Now you're right, two is the smallest number, but what group is that? So there were two children in group A. Brilliant. Make sure you get that one right and don't write the number two. The greatest group, so the biggest amount. Mm. What's the biggest number on there? Shout it at me. Excellent. Five. So what group is that? B, fantastic, good. So B is the biggest group. So if we're going to order them from smallest to largest, we would say group A is the smallest, then C, and then group B. Excellent. Well done, guys. Okay, let's have a look at this one here. Complete the sentences. The greatest group is, and something group is B. Oh, let's have a look, shall we? Let's quickly count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Always a good idea to count just in case. One, two, three, and then one, two, three, four. So the greatest group is group, not group six, group A, because there are six in group A. Oh, what do you think this word will be then for about group B? So it's got three. What number's that? The smallest. I'm actually going to type that in because I won't be able to write that in there for you. The smallest group. is group B. Excellent. Well done. You're very good at this. Okay. I'm going to let you do one more investigation. Okay. So draw counters in group A to make group B the smallest and group C the greatest. Okay. So let's have a look at this. We've got three circles. You can draw three circles on your piece of paper. Let's have a look. How many are there in B? There are one, two. So I'm going to put two. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in group C. So it says I need to make group B the smallest. So if I'm going to make group B the smallest, I know there's two. Okay. So if group B has to be the smallest, I can't have a group that's smaller than two. What number could I put in there then? Some of you are saying I could put three, would that work? If I put three counters in there, would group B still be the smallest? Yes, because two is smaller than three, brilliant. Is there any other number we could put in there? Somebody said four, would that work? Is group B still the smallest? Yes, because two is smaller than four. Brilliant. Okay. There's lots of other possibilities. We're going to stop there. Okay. Now we need to make, I'm going to put another one in actually. No, we're not. We're going to do one more. What about, somebody says, is eight. Let's have a try. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Would eight work? If I have eight in group A, is group B still the smallest? Yes. Why? Because two is smaller than eight. Brilliant job. Excellent. Explain them there. Well done. So, okay, now it says, how can I make it so that group C is the greatest? So group C has seven, so that has to be the biggest number. So what does that tell us about the size of this A? It has to be bigger or smaller than seven. Some of you are a bit confused. Yeah, it has to be smaller than seven so that seven can be the biggest group. So that seven is always the biggest group. So a number that's smaller, give me one. Brilliant. Yes, somebody says five. Is five smaller than seven? Yes. So seven is still the biggest group. C is still the biggest group. Is there another number? Somebody said six. Does it work if I've got six? Is six smaller than seven? Yes. Brilliant job. Excellent. So you need to start thinking about the size of those numbers. Well done. Okay, we're going to have a quick look at this one here. Are you ready? Okay. True or false? The groups of flowers are in order from the smallest to the largest. Have a think 
Have a look, you can pause me to solve this one. True or false, and then explain to me why. So make sure you pause me. Okay, so now you should have unpaused me. Let's have a look. So the first thing you should have done is counted. How many purple flowers are there? One, two, three, four, five. How many orange flowers are there? One, two. How many blue flowers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight. So it says smallest to largest. Is that right? Is five the smallest number? No. So the groups of flowers are in order from smallest to largest, are they? No, because the orange flowers should have come first, then the purple, then the blue. That would be smallest to largest. Brilliant. One more task for you to do, okay? So you can pause me after we've read this and you can have a go. Alex orders the groups of objects from smallest to largest. I hope you can see the objects carefully. We'll just make them a bit bigger, okay? But Teddy says, this is incorrect because there are more apples than chew bars. Alex orders the groups of objects from smallest to largest. But Teddy says it's not right because there are more chew bars than more apples than chew bars. Alex orders the groups of objects from here, from smallest to largest, smallest to greatest, sorry, smallest to greatest. But Teddy says this is incorrect because there are more apples than chew bars. Pause me. Have a think, have a chat with someone if you need to. Have a think on your own, write an answer if you need to, or just talk to me. But make sure you pause me to have some thinking time. Okay, so therefore you should have, those of you who have unpaused me, we're ready to do some more. Let's have a look. So first thing I would do is count how many there are. So there are 10 crayons, and then there's some outside the box, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I know there are 13 there. So how many sweets? 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 sweets. Let's have a look here. How many apples? 10 in the bag, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So at the moment it's going 13, 15, 16, so it is going from smallest to greatest. Oh, maybe Teddy's wrong. Let's have a look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh-oh, there are eight chew bars. So Teddy says it was wrong and not smallest to greatest because there are more apples than chew bars. Is he right? Is 16 bigger than eight? Yes, so it should be the other way around. So what order should it go in? 13. Oh, it shouldn't go 13, should it? Silly me. It should go 8, 13, 15, and then finally 16. And that would make it smallest to greatest. Fantastic job, guys. Lots of thinking. I can really see your brains working hard there great job well done right, we've come to the end of our lesson and it's time to go so well done bye everybody and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye